Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Unboxing videos. Used to be a lot of them about, and I don't see that many anymore. And I've certainly never done one, but um, I finally got a box and a product that I think is worthwhile of one. I've got my fancy knife uh, and I've got my camera on, so we're going to open it up and show you what I've bought. So after two years in the astrophotography hobby, I decided to get something a little bit more serious. So my name's Glenn and you're watching Astrobloke. Okay, no idea how well this is packed or how much packing is in here, so this could easily become a fast forwarded video because I'm sure you don't want to see me just taking out a load of packing. And we'll get to the meat of what's inside. So nice and gentle, because I don't want to do any damage. Oh, and in true astrophotography style it's a box in a box and the dogs come to help Havana you good girl yes you are right we'll leave the box in the box so it's a double unboxing you get a bonus here not just one but two oh it is so I know a couple of people know about my recent purchase but not everyone I think this is going to be a bit there <laughs> I am excited to be honest it's not often I get I get excited by a box but um, I'm excited Wow, so this comes with, I'll have to have a look at this, but this comes with a um, Zygo wavefront analysis. Tells you everything about it. Okay. So what have I bought, you're all thinking. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a bit more surgery before I'm going to be able to show you. Oh my God. That is a beaut. So, I have bought myself an Orion Optics CT10, so a carbon fibre, 10 inch, ultra Newtonian from Orion Optics UK. And I must say, that is beautiful. The carbon fibre finish is lovely, it's a glossy finish, let's see if we can get you a bit closer. That's a lovely action on that, that's very smooth. I'm hoping I'm not going to have any issues getting focus. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking scope. So this has come with heating elements inside the sandwich to stop any dewing. Uh, we've also got fans at the bottom to help with the primary mirror and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and stick it on my mount and we'll have a look at the rest of it 
I've only got one concern with the new scope, and that is, is it going to fit in my little observatory? I've had a measure up uh, before I ordered it, and I, I think it will, but it's not until you put it in here I'll find out. So I'm just going to get everything ready, go get the scope, fingers crossed, it's going to fit and slew inside this little obsy. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, not going to be the easiest thing to put on here, I'm sure. But being carbon fibre, it's not as heavy as it most probably looks. Ah. They've made a mistake, there's a cover plate on the uh, Nosmandy there with a bolt. You have a look, it's got like a, some extruding bolts on the cover plate there. That's not going to work for me. <clears throat> That's not going to work at all. Because they're going to come in contact with the mount. So there were two protruding bolts on the bottom of the Los Mandy plate here, which would stop me sliding it onto my dovetail bar. And I'm just concerned, I, it, looks, it looks all part of it, I wonder what they're for. Maybe it's to add something else on, um, another bar maybe. Um, I'm just gonna take these off and make sure that that is all one piece before I put it on there, because what I don't wanna do is put it up and then this clicks out or something, and then I watch the whole scope brand new OTA come crashing to the ground. Yeah, it's not good to see a grown man cry. And uh, I've been waiting five whole months for this scope. So to say I'm excited to actually get to use it is an understatement. Of course, the forecast is not good for tonight, even though it's a lovely sunny day, but we never know. Maybe I should do some solar with it. I can hear you all. No! Okay, I can see from that 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 is actually all one piece. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm not gonna take it apart anymore because I'm confident now that that is not a separate part or clip in bit and I can put the scope up and not watch it fall to the floor. So I'm just going to relocate that one. So we've been distracted but in a good way so we can have a little view there straight down into the scope and uh, I must say it's a beautiful looking scope so uh, let's get it on this mount now get this little smandy done up and get it put on. That's better. Slide that up. Make sure it's located. Do it up. Don't let go of the weight until we're really happy that it's located in the plate because this is a lot of weight to drop and it's in. Wow, that is a big scope. Time to see whether my observatory is too big or too small. Oh my god, this is tight. I'm going to need to change my brace there, I think. Oh my god. I think I'm going to need a new part position, Scotty. That'll have to be my part position and then it'll open. When it's open, 
it's going to be fine because it's the top that sticks out the out there so that's going to be all my imaging and even it's the back isn't that long so it's absolutely fine for imaging yep that's absolutely fine it's just that front bit for where i park it so i'm going to have to go for i might even have to leave it like that might have to go like that Might have to have a park position like that, maybe. That's quite a good park position. So, while we're here, let's do a little tutorial on um, using EQ Mod and having a custom park position, in case you've never done it. So, let me just set up that I record my screen. So, we'll bring Nina up. We can load the profile. For now, turn the power on. Go to telescope and connect. EQ has come. There we go. So that's the what we want to call the home position. So what I can do is I can now go to here, undefined, and we're going to push, we're going to push set, and this is going to be called the home, and we're going to set it, set, and that's your home position. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to move the scope now to its part position and then in the same time we're going to set the new part position so that's going to go like that okay let's just bring that slightly tilted down like that excellent and what we're going to do is we're going to resync the encoder we're going to say that this is the new part position and then we're going to go set and we're going to call this park and we're going to say set so that should be the part position and we're going to set set it as park say park now this is the test will it go to home That looks a bit better. I cannot wait to do my first light with the uh, CT10. Uh, it's a 4.8, F4.8, 1200 millimeter scope. So uh, it should take some absolutely stunning images. The optics are supposed to be of a fantastic level really sharp images so it should hopefully give me something nice I'm not sure what my first target is going to be I think I need to go away and sort one out and now I'm going to park it I've got a funny feeling the next thing I'm going to be doing is collimating it and maybe get my uh, off-axis guider out Lovely, and that is looking really good. So, there you have it, an unboxing. The uh, Orion Optics UK CT10. I can just caught the door there. Uh, give this a little polish and uh, a little collimation, and I'm gonna be very happy. Very happy chappy indeed. I've got some cables at the back to connect. So this came with uh, fans at the back for uh, helping bring the temperature of that primary mirror down should it be 
uh, too warm or whatever, and also that will help with any uh, problems of uh, condensation uh, or dew. And built into the sandwich of the uh, scope is heating elements for dew as well. So it's got everything it should need, and it's all done by one plug at the back that can plug into my um, Pegasus Powerbox uh, Advance. So there you have it. I um, hope you uh, are as excited as I am, and uh, I look forward to sharing my first light with you. But until next time, please take care, and I wish you all clear skies.